So today I'm going to take you through how to set up a simple inbound lead messaging alert system from Salesforce to Slack. I just discovered how to do this. Um, and I, to be honest with you, I'm surprised that it's not easier and that there's not great documentation on how to do it. So I thought it'd be helpful if I would create a video about how to do it. Um, I've done this in the past using tools uh, like Zapier, but ever since Salesforce was acquired by Slack, we've all kind of been waiting for these features to come out. And uh, I guess this came out sometime in the past year or two, um, but there's surprisingly little information on how to do it. So I'm gonna share with you the simple steps that are required to get this to work and let me know your thoughts or if you have any questions. The first thing that you have to do is go into setup and just type Slack. And once you get to Slack, you click on this option here called Slack Apps Setup. Now, you can go through this. I'm not gonna bore you uh, taking you through the setup steps, but just follow this and you know, download the Slack app in your Slack as well, because that is required. And I believe you also have to have uh, a certain type of Salesforce. I think it's the enterprise edition that's needed in order to do this. Um, so let's take you through it. Once you set this up, you can go ahead and set up a a flow in Salesforce, as I've done here, and you would wanna create a record triggered flow. Now, once you go into your flow, uh, I did it for when a lead is created and it meets any of these different lead sources. And something very important to include is this run asynchronously path at the bottom here. So make sure you check that off because when you try to run it immediately, it doesn't work because it's talking to an, an external system. So what it actually wants you to do is run it asynchronously so it can trigger an action within Slack. Now, um, the next thing that was also surprisingly complicated was crafting the actual Slack message. Now, if you've crafted Slack messages before, you can use or follow their documentation uh, which tells you how to format messages. Um, and I can link that in the description below to point you to it. But the way that I handled it here was uh, using a variable assignment. Now I'll get to that in a moment, but first let's actually go through the action. So in your asynchronous path, you're going to follow these steps. You're going to populate which app you want to use. So Salesforce for Slack is the one you're going to use. You're going to put in your Slack workspace. Then you're going to execute the action as either the Slack app or the user who is in the context. Uh, then you're going to go ahead and put in the channel ID. So if you're using Slack through the browser, you can just go and navigate to the URL here and you can see the channel ID. Uh, if you're using it in the app, you can just click on this little issue um, arrow here and you'll see the channel ID at the bottom here. Now you copy that and you would paste that into your flow here. Now when it gets to the actual message, this message can be up to 40,000 characters long. Uh, but because it's not really a rich text editor here, it's difficult to actually put anything in this. So what you want to do is assign a variable and format the text within that. Now, once this is done, uh, let's get to the actual messaging part of this. And what you're going to do is you're going to create a new resource. It's going to be a text template. And you're going to, rather than use the rich text formatter, you're going to use a plain text and format it manually. And this is where you're gonna format the Slack message. Now, I've already done this, 
and you can see it here. So what's happening here is it's bolding the first line, inbound lead. It is then using a quote text, which is what this syntax is. It's bolding the name. And then I've inserted a URL to refer to the record ID that started the flow, which is being, which is being referred to here uh, because this dollar sign record is referring to the record that started the flow, which is the lead that was just created and meets those conditions. And then I'm hyperlinking it with the first and last name of the lead. Then I've also included some other information in the message. So company, uh, which is referring to the lead company and also the lead source. So I know where it's coming from. Now, once that's created, you feed it into this very, uh, this field here uh, within the send Slack message button. Now, when you debug this, you're going to notice that it doesn't work because when it, when you try to debug it and feed it a record, it just goes down this run immediately path. So you actually have to test it by manually creating a record in Salesforce, which I will show you how to do. And then you'll see it come through in Slack. So this is what I have in Slack currently, and I've run two test channels or leads through this, and this is what it looks like. You can see it's bolded, and then you have the quote text here, the name, the hyperlinked lead that was created, the company, and so on and so forth, other useful information. So just to give you an example of this working, let's go ahead and create a lead. So I'll just call it my own name. And then we are going to go ahead and make sure it meets one of the conditions. And then once I save this, you'll see the lead got created. And now all of a sudden, this has popped up in my Slack. So this is extremely useful if you have lead capture systems that feed into your Salesforce. Uh, so maybe you have a Calendly link that people book time with you in your calendar, or maybe you have a demo capture form. In our, in our case, we have a demo capture form on our app exchange listing. Uh, anything that sort of creates a lead you want to be notified so it doesn't just sit there and no one does anything. Slack creates a situation. It's a software where people are on all the time and it creates a situation where you're able to take action on it immediately rather than it just sort of sitting there until you go and check your list of leads. So that's all I wanted to share with you today. Um, if you have any questions about how this flow is set up, please let me know. And I'll try to link anything useful in the comments below. Thank you and hope you enjoyed this video.